Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is December 21st, 2020. <laughs> We're almost done with this year. I hope that those of you who celebrate Christmas have a very Merry Christmas, and those of you who celebrate something else have happy holidays, and each and every one of us has a blessed and safe and prosperous new year. Let's look forward to great things in the future. And right now, one of the great things I have is the Winter Festival, which I know some of you already have. And unfortunately, some of you will never have because that's just the way King operates. Although you can try to get this event by playing on different devices or browsers and seeing if you have different experiences. For me, this was the very first day it was available, and I had to actually play a level. I didn't have to win. I didn't have to complete it. I just had to open up and play a level, make it change the board before it gave me this winter festival. And I know a little bit about this already because I've already played Salt NATO and I've heard it's very similar. So let's talk about this a little. We have 350 hours to complete this event. And that's good because it's lots and lots of levels. I think Salt NATO for me was over 60, maybe even over 70 levels. So we'll need a lot of time to be able to complete it. And we get rewards as we go. And then something at the end. So in this winter festival, I'm going to be running through levels. And even though it might say level one or level two or level 14, it probably corresponds to something on the real world, the reality map. And it might be level 14 is the same as level 3051 in the regular map levels. So if you happen to notice that I'm playing a level and you know what the number is, on the real map, I would love to hear what the winter festival level corresponds to on the reality map. So here we go. We're going to jump in and see how this operates. It says, Candy News, Winter Chill, Town Square, a winter wonderland. So let's see what this looks like. Tiffy says, Wow, that was a huge storm. Let's build a snowman, Yeti. All right, so here we go. A snowstorm has blown through Candy Town. Beat event levels to remove the snow and prepare for the winter festival. So we want to have a winter festival, but everything's covered in snow right now. We need a lot of hot chocolate in order to melt everything. Notice that these are smaller and these are bigger. If we click on them, oh, it's not going to do anything now. We actually have to play a level in order to get this done. And as we play levels, we'll get these hot cocoa cups and as we clear these things out, we will advance on this meter. Once we advance all the way to the end of the meter, we will get one dot filled. And then we advance again and we get the next dot filled and advance again and get the next dot filled. And I have to tell you that on the third episode of Salt NATO, those levels were super tough. So just to prepare yourself, you can play for as long as you want to. You can play for as long as you can. I would not invest a whole bunch of boosters to get more boosters if it were me uh, and I were playing just for myself. But I might invest boosters since I'm playing for you folks. We'll see how it goes. So here we go. I'm going to jump in just because I want to show you what the levels are like. And that's why I might go ahead and play. So level one, I get to select boosters. I'm not going to. The reward is going to be one cup of hot chocolate if I can get this completed. So let's see what we face. And usually that starts out not too bad. 40 moves, which is generous to collect one color bomb, 50 red and 50 blue. So when I approach this kind of level, what I do is I look for opportunities. I do have a color bomb on the board, so I could remove this from its licorice lock and then try to strike it because I also have to collect it. But I could also just make a color bomb anywhere. Like if I could get a purple over here, that would be kind of nice. So there are different approaches to this, but right now I've got marmalade in the way. So let's get that marmalade out of the way. Again, I could really do some fun things, I think, with a purple if I can get it over there at the right place and the right time without things falling through. Now clearing out the marmalade and, and taking out things that are here, this is kind of fun and it's productive because even if I'm not concentrating on the red or the blue, I'm still collecting red and blue as I go. Now I can put this together. It won't help anything down here that I can see because I'm not connecting it with red or blue, um, but it's still going to open up this board for me. And even though I didn't match with red or blue, look at that collection. 
You just make chaos on boards like this. If I always focus on red, I may deplete the board of red. If I just keep looking, oh, I can match red here, I can match red here, then I might just end up with a board that has no more red because I've taken it all out. But if I can create moves that make a whole bunch of chaos on the board, then I can take out red and blue and every other color and bring more stuff in. So that is how I am choosing to beat this level. There we go. So let's see if we can use our cup of hot chocolate. This is probably one of the lower levels that it corresponds to. And sometimes there's a difference in the number of moves we get, whether it's a winter wonderland or saltnado or regular map level. All right, congratulations. Use hot chocolate to upgrade Candy Town. So we have to upgrade Candy Town. Uh, it says get ready for Winter Festival, for the Winter Festival by decorating the buildings. So normally we click on one of these, transform the other buildings to unlock a sweet upgrade. But it's not letting me, so I probably need more than one cup of hot cocoa. But notice how the snowman is radiating. This one I get to decorate with just one cup of hot cocoa. So that's how we get to do this. And there we go. We're advancing and she says, Hooray, we've cleared the snow. Let's get more hot chocolate. Oh, now I'm craving hot chocolate. All right. That is my first experience in this special event. I hope that you get to play along. Remember that if you find corresponding levels. I would love to hear what they are. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, put those below. As always, thank you so much for watching and have very, very happy holidays. Bye-bye.